Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And I want to go over this equation right here. It says quantity plus quality equals vitality. And I think this is the most important equation for um, improving your health and doing healthy practices. So here's how this works out. Um, when people come in to see me initially, a lot of people have some weight problem or they have some poor health because of poor food choices. And that's the bottom line is that our American diet is like in really bad shape and there's more and more processed food. And um, so what we do first is we address the quantities and quantities include um, carbohydrates, fats, proteins. Those are the three macronutrients. I'm actually going to write that down for you. So we got macronutrients, we got carbs, fats, and proteins. So in this country, the main thing we have to do is decrease the carbohydrate intake. That's step one. So that's quantity of carbs. Now most people eat enough fat and protein and that's uh, dependent on each individual person. And then we can talk about quantity of water, but most people that see me already drink plenty of water. So we're working with carbs. And then the next part is quality. So as the carb count goes down, the quality of the food goes up. And here's why. Because most carbs are the junk food. And junk food is poor quality food. And I read an article by one of my favorite researchers. His name is Gary Tobbs. And the article says there's no such thing as a low-fat diet. And it's true, too, that there's no such thing as a low-calorie diet. Because what people do when they go low-fat or low-calorie or they change their diet, the first thing they do is they cut out the junk. And junk is carbs. So basically, all diets start off as low-carb. All diets start off as low-carb. So... Um, when the quality gets, quantity gets normal, the quality goes up, and then you get vitality. So I, um, give, let me give you this example. I've had people come in and say to me, I no longer eat six cupcakes a day. I'm kind of exaggerating, but I don't eat six cupcakes a day from Kroger anymore or from, you know, like from the regular grocery store anymore. I go to Whole Foods and I eat those cupcakes instead. So what they've done is they, they've changed the quality of the cupcakes, which is an improvement, but the quantity of carbs is still very, very high. So they'd be better off just stopping the cupcakes. This goes way down, and then they're eating something else, and they're still shopping at the regular grocery store. So um, now let me talk about micronutrients. So as the quantity of processed food goes down, People eat more vegetables, more organic uh, meat and stuff like that, real butter instead of margarine. The um, micronutrients go up. There's just more nutrients in there. So I'm not going to write this down, but examples of micronutrients, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the plant-based chemicals that our bodies use for um, the biochemical processes in our body. So. Uh, the phytochemicals, that's what that term is, the plant-based chemicals. And I have another video talking about herbs. So there is this equation, quantity plus quality equals vitality. And uh, think with this, um, when you're discussing and talking about uh, food choices and healthy habits and improving your health, go with quantity first and then the quality comes next and then you get vitality.